for electrifying meetings. For corporate events with impact, there is one man you can turn to, Christopher Carter. Christopher Carter! What Christopher Carter does is hard to describe. He has been called the world's greatest mind reader. He is a master of psychological illusion. He's funny without being embarrassing. His feats are amazing beyond your wildest imagination. <laughs> the next silver dollar goes into the socket of the left eye and just keep on tearing these suckers off, Marie. Because above all of this is going to go a blindfold made of four layers of velour. Donnie, I'm going to send you on a treasure hunt. Your okay. job is really simple. You go through and you collect one object from the crowd and one bill, one piece of currency. An object and a bill. That's right. Oh. This woman is, is a traveler. She's a world traveler. I know that uh, because I believe she handed us, Donnie, her passport. Whoa! Am I, am I correct about that, Donnie? First letter, Marie, I, I think I'm picking up an A. Am I correct? Yes. Is, is it followed by an F? Yes. Is it, is, is it followed by a 1, Marie? Yes. And then a 7? Yeah. And then a 3? Uh -huh. And then another 1? That's and then, Is there a 5? Yes. A, a 3? Yeah. An 8? Uh -huh. A four? Uh -huh. The last letter, Marie, is it a B? Oh, my God. Yeah. The sponsors of the performance have purchased two light bulbs. These have been given to two audience members to be inspected. I don't know if we're ready, but I'm going to try something. Stare toward the bulb. And ladies, close your eyes now. Those are yours to keep as souvenirs. Thank you. The centerpiece of any Christopher Carter presentation is his incredible thought reading demonstration. He is blindfolded with two silver dollars, nine layers of duct tape, and a heavy cotton blindfold. Then his helpers borrow objects from members of the audience to hold beneath his hands. Yes. Came off of your body, yes, Corey? Fascinating. I get an image of you walking up to a guy. He's got a long trench coat on. He's going, want to buy one of these? Is this your watch, Corey? Good enough. Give it up for him. Give him a big round of applause. But that's only the beginning. Everybody in the audience is asked to concentrate on details about their own lives or questions they would like Christopher to answer. Soon they and their thoughts become the stars of the show. Fascinating. All right. You're not bored, are you? No, here's why I ask. I'm talking to her and I get this image. Does that relate to what you were trying to send me? Yes. It's a, it's a condition that you have. You're narcoleptic? Yes. Give it up for her. Give her a big round of applause for her help. Codell, am I close? That is correct. Great. <laughs> now, this is interesting, Frank. Franklin, they came around, and as part of dessert, you know how they routinely offer coffee, but you, you didn't take any, did you? That is correct. In fact, tell me if I'm right, you have actually never had coffee in, in your entire <laughs> life. That is correct. Now, born on a Friday, yes, Franklin? I, I'm not sure. You were there. I, I just <laughs> thought you might remember. Um, <laughs> Both you and your wife born on the same day of the month. You were born January, January the 23rd. That is correct. Good enough. Give it up for Franklin. Give him a huge round of applause for himself. Let's, let's just shuffle around, try to get a few more. What is your first name, please? Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Did you introduce yourself to me past that point? No. Then, then concentrate on your name, Ms. Hill. Say it over and over. Jacqueline Hill, yes? Yes. Yes. You have a question about somebody near you? Yes. Is it, is it about a male or a female? Female. Like, Brianne, am I close? Brian? Uh, Bryant. Bryant. <laughs> yeah, they're going to be Jimmy's shoes, but actually they're knockoffs. They're not the real thing. <laughs> does, does that answer your question? Yes, it does. <laughs> Christopher is more than an entertainer. He's also a powerful speaker. In his Achieving the Impossible presentations, he explores the mindset that leads to spectacular results. 
Now, you ever have that experience where you feel like your whole future hangs on that one pivotal moment? This was it for me. If I make the right choice, smooth sailing. If I make the wrong choice, my career is over. Here's how I responded to that moment. I looked him in the eyes. I made a huge show of concentration. I even, even put my hand on my forehead. This is like the universal gesture of mind reading. I said, I'm getting a woman's name. You were involved with a woman named Tiffany. Am I right? And I, and I knew I got it right because his eyes got real big and round and bloodshot. <laughs> More bloodshot. I said, Tiffany didn't work out because she caught you cheating with Wanda. Now his jaw just falls. I know I've got it. I said, Wanda didn't work out because you spent the next several years in the state penitentiary. It was beautiful. He was like a deer caught in the headlights. He just looked at me and said, boy, you are good. <laughs> and you have got to love a guy whose whole life story has been tattooed straight down his arm. <laughs> now, since as a speaker, I'm kind of in the business of creating morals to stories, the moral to this story is, is simple. The opportunities for creating impact the opportunities for doing what I call achieving the impossible are literally all around us all the time. The fundamental questions are, number one, why don't we always see them? And number two, when we do see them, what keeps us from taking action? In 2010, Christopher created his Power Listening Keynote and Seminars. Drawing upon his expertise in body language and nonverbal communication, as well as his background in theater, Christopher teaches how to read between the lines of human behavior. Managers, sales teams, and customer service professionals will benefit from Christopher's insights. I want to draw your attention to something interesting. Look around your tables and notice how many of you sitting near each other have almost identical body language. Some people will have their hands folded. These guys' elbows are on the table in almost the same way. Those two, their hands are folded in almost the same way. Turns out, that one of the things we do to identify ourselves as part of a group is unconsciously copy each other's body language. Now, like I said, it's completely unconscious. We don't know we do it, but we do it. And I'm bringing this up for two very important reasons. Reason number one, because I want you to be self-conscious for the rest of your lives. <laughs> and reason number two, because it gives us an important lesson. Just as we can hear not only with our ears, but also with our eyes, we hear also not only with our conscious mind, but also with our unconscious mind. Which means that every word you say has the power to influence people, but also every gesture you make has the power to influence people. You may have seen Christopher in theaters, on television, or at one of his over 3,000 live presentations worldwide. Meeting planners love his versatility and his ability to customize his presentations to the client's message. They use him for after-dinner presentations, entertainment with a message, keynotes, and his power listening seminar. One other quick thing. Uh, I'm talking to you and I got an image of an animal. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Oh, it could be a husband. It's always hard to tell. No. <laughs> is it a pet? Yes. Um, is it a dog, a cat, an iguana? What kind of pet? It's a dog. Call the dog to you in your mind, but not out loud, okay? Just hear your inner voice go, here, Maggie. Oh, my God. <laughs> If, if there's so many different numbers that you're focusing on, can you just kind of compress them into a number of some kind? And if you did, how many digits would be involved? There's four birthdays compressed into four digits. Four digits. Mm -hmm. Focus. One, eight, two, five. That's true. <laughs> oh my now, God. did you have a question for me? Yes. Constant. Oh. Yes. Where are you from? Tell me, please. Um, Maryland. I'm from Chicago, so I will answer your question in a way that people from Chicago can answer. Yes, exactly the same year when the Cubs win the World Series. <laughs> Does that answer your question? Yeah. <laughs> in other words, you're not going to retire for a long, long time. Is that what you wanted to know? Yes. That's Good it. enough. Give it up for her. Give her a huge round of applause for her help. Whether you're looking for unforgettable entertainment, a message with impact, or a combination of the two, you're looking for Christopher Carter.